is Lee Sterling of ParamountSports.com and just finished watching on a beautiful afternoon the Alabama Crimson Tide 2012 Spring Game. And let me tell you something, I had some reservations. I knew they had some talent at Alabama, but after winning the national title and, and getting all kinds of players drafted in the first round, including two of the most dynamic players in the country over the last decade in Julio Jones and Heisman Trophy winner Trent Richardson, I said to myself, okay, they're going to be down a notch, especially at running back and receiver. But that may not be the case. At running back, they return Eddie Lacy. He's probably a top five, top ten running back in the country. He didn't even play in the game, number 42, Eddie Lacy. So what do they do? They roll out a true freshman early enrollee, C.J. Yeldon. He had over 200 all-purpose yards in the spring game. He looked amazing. Had a long touchdown run of over 80 yards. Then you bring back D. Hart. He enrolled early the year before. Number one, D. Hart was hurt in the spring game last year. He looks like he's 90, 95%. He's going to be great coming out of the backfield and returning kicks. So they're set at running back. They have the best trio of running backs, I believe, in the country. Then you move on to receiver. They lost Julio Jones the year before. Two seniors this past year. So, look to be a lean year this coming year. Not the case. Number seven, Kenny Bell looks really good. Number two, DeAndre White looks strong. And then they bring in a converted defensive back, number 22, Christian Jones. So, they're going to be fine at wide receiver. I was shocked. The offensive line, one of the top two or three offensive lines in the country, they return... Maybe the two best players in the country in the offensive line and Barrett Jones and DJ Fluker. So they're going to be great on the offensive line. And they're led by A.J. McCarron. A.J. McCarron, he was a question mark coming in last year, but he got better and better. And he looked amazing in the national championship game. He's a leader now. He can take you 80 yards in four or five plays with a minute left to win a game. So their offense is going to be great. Defense, they only return, it looks like, four to five starters. So a lot of people have some questions about their defense. But they're going to be fine there. Quentin Dial on the offensive defensive line. Jesse Williams, those two guys will answer, uh, anchor the defensive line. And then their linebackers, Nico Johnson's back. Uh, Trey DePriest didn't pay, play much last year, but he'll be very, very good guy that came out of nowhere, and then they've got Mosley and Milner on the defensive backfield to fill in and continue that tradition. So six real strong guys, four or five new guys will come in, but these are four and five star recruits. Nick Saban is the best coach right now in college football. The only thing in their way, tough schedule. They open up Arlington Stadium, Cowboys Stadium versus Michigan. Robinson might give them some trouble. Mobile quarterback. But they seem to be able to stop one-dimensional teams with a quarterback with happy feet. They play at Arkansas and also LSU. This is a team that's going to go 12-1, and or in my opinion, possibly 13-0 and again. Love this Alabama team. Can't say I'm shocked, but pleasantly surprised, in my opinion, they are the team to beat and the best team heading in to 2012 college football season. Love Alabama's team. I think you're going to see them again in the national championship game. Maybe come back with back-to-back -back national championships. Signing off from Tuscaloosa, Alabama after we just watched an amazing Alabama Crimson Tide spring game. What can I say? <laughs> They're the best there is. They might win again this year.